in this lecture snippet I want to focus in on a great carving tool called Scalpel which is originally developed from an earlier version of Foremost and the group Digital Forensic Solutions is actively developing this tool and it does a wonderful job with file carving. They've actually developed it for multiple platforms with Linux, Windows, and the Macintosh operating system and so we're going to look at using it here in this video itself. But to begin with it's not installed by default on Ubuntu. So what I need to do is open up the terminal and I'm going to look at actually installing it with the sudo apt get command. So sudo apt dash get install and we're going to install scalpel. I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'll need to type in my administrative password so to go through the process of installing it. I am going to point out that it is not the most current version of Scalpel in the Ubuntu 12.04 repository. This one's installing 1 1.6 and there is a version 2 that's out there. And so you can manually install it. I'm sure that in future Ubuntu operating systems that we hopefully update the repository and actually get the most up-to-date version. But Scalpel 1.6 works and it's a very good tool to work with even though it's not the most up-to-date. But what I'm going to do is check out the man page. So I'm going to do man Scalpel and we're going to go ahead and hit enter and look at some of the options that we're going to use with the tool. I will tell you that I use the dash C option and the dash C option is to point to the configuration file. Unlike foremost where you have the dash T for type option and you can distinguish what types to carve out, we're going to actually look at a config file and we're going to need to uncomment the file types that we actually want to carve. So we will be using the dash C file and we'll be modifying a file called scalpel.conf. Now I also want to point out that we're going to use the dash O option for the output directory and it does need to go to an empty or basically a new folder whenever we do our output. So we'll be creating this folder on the fly while I'm running the command. I'm going to go ahead and hit Q to quit out of that and then we'll go ahead and move this over here. I do want to also show you where this config file is because we're going to need to edit it. So if you open up the folder to browse uh, and we're going to look for the file system, we're going to look in the Etsy folder etc and then once we're in here we're going to look for the scalpel directory. There it is and this is the config file that we're going to be configuring so that scalpel will carve the specific files that I'm looking for. So I'm going to move that over to my desktop like you saw there. Alright, I'm going to scroll down and what you'll see here is we've got different file types to actually work with. And so I've got different art files, AOL art files, I've got GIFs, I've got PNGs. If I want to carve one of these particular file types out, the one I'll need to do is uncomment it. So under this GIF and JPEG category, I'm going to uncomment that GIF, this GIF, that JPEG, and that'll allow the application to actually look for those file headers and actually carve those out of a hard drive. Let's just say I wanted to add PNGs in there, I can do that. I can scroll down and see there's a lot of different file types that we can actually uncomment and carve. The DOC files for Office documents, I'll go ahead and take those off and you can see if I, as I go through the list there's quite a few different options here for us to work with. I'm going to go ahead and save the config file because that's what I want to use to carve out and let's go ahead and run this command so I can show you how it works. I'm going to navigate first over to the desktop and that's because all my files are here and I don't have to worry about file paths if I'm in the desktop itself. And the command that we're going to run is the scalpel command and we're going to use that dash C option for the scalpel config file. So let's go ahead and type this in scalpel and then we're going to use dash C and then I'm going to use that scalpel.config file. I'm going to use a dash O and I'm going to create myself an output folder. So I'm just going to call this one flash output and then what I need to do is I need to tell it where to carve and there's no option that I'm going to use for this. I'm just going to go ahead and type in what I need to carve at the end here. So I'm going to carve flash drive dot img. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and you can see that it's beginning the process of actually carving this particular file image that I have and it's carving out the files that I wanted to based on the config file that I have here. So it's going to go through this process of carving out the 2 gig flash drive that I have and when it's finished I'll come back and now that it's finished I can see what actually happened here. It carved out 297 files and it took 49 seconds for it to work. So it's pretty quick for the 2 gig flash drive. If I open up the flash output folder I'll see the different file types that it actually was able to actually extract or carve out of my flash drive and I do have an audit text which is going to give me a little bit of information about what was actually carved. I'm going to go ahead and close that 
and just show you if I open up something like the JPEG, it carved out these different JPEGs from my actual flash image that I have. So I'll go ahead and close that. We can actually also run this command on an actual hard drive or a hard drive partition. If we do that, we'll need to start off with sudo. And before I actually run the command, I want to take a quick look to see which partition I actually want to carve. So I'm going to do a sudo fdisk-l and I'll hit enter. And the actual hard drive that I want to carve and the partition that I want to carve is from device sdb and I'm going to carve sdb1 which is from a Windows computer. I'll go ahead and do a clear. And so the command is going to be sudo because I'm working with a device interface. So sudo and we're going to do scalpel the dash C option, and I'm just going to use the same one that I had from the previous time I ran this. So we'll do the scalpel.conf, and then I'm going to do the dash O, and call this one just NTFS output. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the device that I'm going to use. So forward slash DEV, forward slash SDB1. I'm going to do that whole partition. You can do it on the whole hard drive without running the one after it for the whole drive, but I'm just going to pull everything from that one partition. I'll hit enter and you'll see that it's going to begin the process here of actually carving out that partition. And you can see now that it's finished, it actually did take quite a bit longer running through the hard drive, 1,262 seconds, but I was able to carve out 1,994 files based on what I uncommented in the scalpel.conf file. You will see a lock on this one here because we had to run sudo, so what I'll need to do is just run sudo, again, chmod, and we'll do the dash capital R 777 and then this NTFS output folder and if I run this command I'll have to type in my password it'll actually take off that lock and, and basically make the permissions readable for everybody and you can see I have my output folders again so this is running scalpel as a file carving tool for Linux